3 John 2. Beloved, I wish above all things. You get this. Above all things. I wish above all things. That word wish is a word that could be translated wish or even pray, desire. Okay? I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. Now, we could camp here for a while. But notice he says, I wish above all things. This is how important it is. And he says that you may prosper and be in health. Now, notice he wants you to prosper and be in health. Now, when you're in health, your body has prospered. But he says prosper and be in health. Okay. Now, but notice he says even as your soul prospers. And so God wants your body and your situation, your prosperity, to grow at the level your soul prospers. Now, the reason for that is this. Let me give you an example. You take a person that plays the lottery, and let's say, however, and they hit it, and they hit it big, and they were in debt, and now they've got millions. And guess what? The statistics are in five years, they'll be deeper in debt than they were before they won the lottery. That, that's a fact, statistic, put it that way. Do you know why that is? Because they prospered more than their soul prospered. They prospered beyond what their soul knew how to manage. And because of that, they, well, they did the same, they lived the same way and worse than they did before. And they squandered what they had. And now they go further into debt. Why? Because now people will actually give them credit. Whereas before, when they were broke, couldn't get credit. But when they got all the millions, people come out of the woodwork. Here, let me give you credit. Let me give you credit. And they take it and they think that it's free money and then they end up in deeper debt. Why? Because they prospered more than their soul did. God wants you to prosper as your soul prospers. That's why most people, when they're praying for things, it doesn't hit in a big lump sum or a big lump of anything. It's a gradual progress. Why? Because your soul has to prosper and God is trying to get you to prosper in your soul so that he can continue to prosper you in every other area of your body. Body, finances, relationships, everything. So he wants you to prosper. It is God's will that you prosper in every area of your life, right? Now, don't just think money, but don't rule that out. Why? Because, listen, if your heart is right, well, let me put it this way. If your heart's right, you're already trying to help as much as you can, even if you don't have much. But if your soul prospers and God starts prospering you, having the prosperity allows you to help more people and do more for people. If when you start prospering, you stop being generous, now you have, you're starting to prosper beyond what your soul has prospered. And the Bible is very clear. It, the Lord maketh rich and adds no sorrow. But the world makes rich and adds lots of sorrow with it. So you can tell how you prospered by if you prospered, did it bring sorrow? Or did it bring freedom to do what you know God wants you to do? That's how you can tell how you prospered, right? That's how you can tell whether you prospered godly or whether you prospered through the world's wisdom, which is devilish. Now, are y'all with me so far? Okay. Okay. 